Hello folks, back again with another unboxing. I'm still trying to get through these. It's a struggle sometimes, but I'm going to get through all of them soon, I hope. Let's take a look at this box here. And this is the Premier Collection Cornage Resin Bust. This one is limited to 3,000 pieces. And as soon as I get this out the box, I'll see what number this is. And it looks like this is the same on all sides. This is approximately 12 inches tall. I'm not sure of the scale. Designed by Joe Allard. Sculpted by Alejandro Piera. I guess that's how you say it. And this is by Diamond Select Toys. All right, folks, let's take a look at the shipping box. Then we'll come back and see what's inside of this box. And from the looks of this, it survived the journey with no damages, which is a good thing. One note here, the reason that I show these shipping boxes is just in case anyone watching this decides to buy the item from the same person I bought it from. However, I have removed some of the shipping labels, so I guess it's a kind of a waste of time to actually show the box since I don't know who I bought it from and I can't tell you who I bought it from unless I go looking through my history on eBay or somewhere. So, uh, maybe I'll keep doing this, maybe not. All right, that's enough about this brown box. Let's get back to the good stuff. And we are back. Let's take a look inside, see what we have here. Okay, this is number 1210 of 3000, 1210. Okay, the last time I attempted to do this, I think it was the last time, might have been the last couple of times, stuff started falling out. So let's pause and we'll come back. And I'll try not to knock anything over this time. Wow, that looks cool. Let's get a little closer. This is going to show up on camera. Oh, it's got some weight to it. Again, I am impressed, people. This thing looks a lot better in person. The pictures and video do it no justice. Okay, I guess I'm a little too close. All right, let's do this. Let's set him down. Have a few tendrils here. And these tendrils sound, that sounds like metal. I believe these are made from metal. So we got a couple of these to put on. I'm going to do that and we'll go ahead and take a good look at Cornage. Okay, folks, I think this is a first for me. I am calling this a fail. Oh, 
I am a, a little bit disappointed right now, but I'll try to continue and get through this review. Let's get a close up look at him. The statue itself is fine, it's just the tendrils don't fit. I don't see any flaws, anything wrong. Everything looks good. There's a seam right there behind his head, but it's hardly noticeable unless you're looking for it. The sculpt is amazing. Look at the teeth. And I'm blocking my light again. Check the teeth out. Crazy. He's a little bit beefier than I think he should be, but it's not bad. And this is, feels like real stone. All right, folks, I'm gonna call this a wrap. Uh, this is a little unexpected, but this is real life again. Everything doesn't always go as planned or the way we want it to go. But before I go, uh, one bit of information I want to pass along. I have just started listing on eBay again. And this is my first item. I listed this for 37 plus, I'm sorry. I listed this for 35 plus shipping. However, I'm trying to break away from eBay altogether. So, if you are interested in this book, this is Ghost Rider number one. I'm not sure the year it was published, but this is Legacy number 237, the variant edition. And I believe that's Dale Otto's artwork on this cover. If you are interested in this, leave a comment, let me know. Leave your email, I'll get in touch with you, and we'll take it from there. And I will be using PayPal. I'm going to start trying to use YouTube for more sales so I can get away from eBay. Uh, I've been away from eBay for about five or six months while I was working and they've, and they've changed the format, the layout for the listings, some of the required information they want from you that's changed. Also during that time, post office has increased their rates as everyone knows. So the shipping, that's not eBay's fault, but shipping costs are just outrageous. So I, I've got to get away from them. So yes, if you're interested in this, just leave a comment, let me know and watch for more. Uh, I was about to say listings, watch for more items for sale. And I will be uh, putting those on YouTube. So if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell so when I put up a new listing well might as well call it a listing when I put up a new listing or item for sale uh, you'll know um, you'll know ahead of time or before everybody else knows all right thanks a lot bye